morning, um, says that all hope of being saved had finally been giving up. All hope. Watch this. Paul now on his way to Rome and ran into a storm of Eurocladom. And verse 20 says that all hope of being saved had finally been given up. Let me prove it. Acts chapter 27 verse 20. New Living Translation is on the screen. The terrible storm raged for many days, blotting out the sun and the stars until at last all hope was gone. Have you ever been there when all hope was gone? I mean, come on, y'all testified. You knew that there was no other way to get out of that, so you just allow things to go where they were. It's critical to see this because many of these people had given up. They had just quit. Mm. Now, you know why they quit, First Lady? It's because they were only looking for a way out. Let me say that again. They gave up because they were only looking for a way out. You see, when you look and look and look for a way out and can't find one, you automatically get discouraged. And many times what we do is give up. Have I got a witness here? But instead, watch this, of looking for a way out, tell somebody, tell them, look for a way through. Yeah. Um, they ain't get that. Tell them, look for a way through. I, I, I'm a witness that God will see you through mm. can I preach it the way I feel it oh, God did not bring you to it not to bring you through it if you got a plan if you got a, a situation ahead of you just keep on going through oh, because at the end of the tunnel glory to God it's not a train it's a light and when you get there God gonna wrap his arms around you and celebrate you that you didn't quit in the middle of the process oh, I know that God prophesied that you're going to be something and I know that it's a promise that you're going to be there but I came to strengthen somebody today that you're going to make it through that process um, you ain't going to quit can I give you a word today be not weary uh, and well do for in due season slap your neighbor tell them you shall reap and not faint in other words you ain't going to give up you ain't going to collapse you ain't going to cave in God has got a plan for your life. I feel preaching in here today. I find your neighbor, tell them neighbor. All you got to do is hold on to God. Because when you hold on to God, God will hold on to you. And if God's holding on to you, tell somebody you're going to make it, you're going to make it. And 